Hey everyone, so today I wanted to go over this uh, calculator that Fat Cat Motorsports and myself have made for the BMW F30, 31, 32, 36, and 34 chassis. Now this calculator is uh, set up to show you the uh, ride frequencies, so here we can see over here we have front and rear ride frequencies, and importantly what the ratio between them is, or your flat ride ratio. So uh, the flat ride ratio is the rear frequency divided by the front, and we want this rear frequency to be higher so that the car settles more quickly when going over uh, road features such as humps, bumps, and you know all that sorts of stuff, track curbing, you name it. So, uh, the way that this calculator is set up, um, all of these different colored fields are uh, over here are editable. Uh, these two are not. This is just to tell you whether or not you have a valid uh, selection here. And um, the outputs, so this, uh, these lighter green cells, um, as well as uh, driver weight, it's multicolored because it outputs to both these. Uh, the lighter green cells uh, will output to the BMW suspension configs. And what these selections limit you to is they limit you to official BMW uh, configurations. So something you could, you know, order from the factory or you could order as a port installed accessory like the M Performance uh, suspension. Now, you know, obviously there's a lot of aftermarket stuff as well, and a lot of uh, enthusiasts and users are curious about how does that affect the vehicle, and that's where this sus uh, custom suspension config line comes in. So all of these different blue cells over here, um, those will output to this line. So it gives you the ability to compare uh, BMW official configurations with something that you may want to configure yourself with the aftermarket or just play around with to see what you might want if you're doing some custom setup. So that said, uh, let's go through some of the uh, uh, some of the choices and selections and how we've set this up, how to use this calculator. So um, now that we know we have two different outputs, right, and so some of these cells output to one, some output to another, uh, let's start with the BMW suspension configurations. So up here, first what we can do is we can select what kind of vehicle you have. So if you go here and click the drop down menu, you can see what different type of uh, vehicle you can select. Uh, so if I have a uh, you know, rear wheel drive 330i, then I'll use four cylinder. If I have uh, a six cylinder 340i uh, rear wheel drive, then I'll choose a six cylinder. So let's go ahead and do that. So, okay, I have a six cylinder 340i, and then um, what suspension do I want to equip it with? Well, I can do a base and uh, M Sport, M Adaptive, or M Performance. And you can see as we you know change these selections, the values over here change, showing you what the ride frequencies are and what that flat ride ratio is. Um, <clears throat> if you uh, entered a configuration that didn't have flat ride, then this uh, uh, field over here saying flat ride or pitch would say pitch and would turn colors. Um, you can enter an invalid combination. So if I have an X-Drive vehicle and I have M Performance Suspension selected, that's invalid because BMW doesn't make an M Performance Suspension suspension for X-Drive vehicles. So you can see here that's invalid configuration and the values here uh, turn blank. So if we set it to a valid uh, selection, then well now we have uh, now we have values here again. <coughs> And uh, you know you can also play with your driver weight. So you know, let's say you have one driver, right? But oh, maybe I'm doing some. You know, you're getting some coaching at an HPDE, so you have a uh, two uh, two people in there instead. Um, so let's go ahead and just change the weight. Oh, and there you go. Now you can see how your ride frequency changed as you added more weight. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the custom suspension configuration uh, output line. So uh, if I want to, let's go back to our six cylinder example. So if I want to see, oh, you know, I want to compare two different suspensions on this six cylinder. Like how does the M Sport M Adaptive compare with uh, M Performance? So I can see here, oh, okay. You know, the M Performance has uh, significantly higher ride frequencies, but still maintains a flat ride great. Well, let's see what if I want to change uh, my suspension to something like a Bilstein B14. So uh, what I would do here is I'd go to the custom vehicle suspension and instead of choosing one of these preset BMW options, I will select custom. And then what it does is this calculator will take the spring rates over here and plug them in. So for 
you know this particular number this is what the output is but if I want to uh, see what a Bilstein B14 or B16 might give me I can uh, take these two numbers here and output those over here and now we can see this is what the Bilstein does and you can see it's about 2 Hertz in the front uh, 1.57 Hertz in the rear and uh, we have a flat ride ratio of 0.76 so below 1 which means that the front frequency is higher than the rear and so therefore it shows us we have a pitch scenario and uh, what I've found is a lot of aftermarket coilovers they kind of target about 2 Hertz for the front um, so uh, that's uh, that's showing you how to enter a custom suspension config um, but let's say you know you're even more hardcore than that you've actually like weighed your vehicle you know and uh, and and you you know what your vehicle's weight is you know what your weight distribution is and you know you think it's probably different than what I have preset here so if you have that and uh, you can go ahead to this custom vehicle weight and distribution and you can select yes and then that will use these two fields here for this calculation so instead of you know the uh, preset weight that I had in here let's say oh I my uh, six cylinder car really only weighs uh, 3,700 pounds and has a 55% front weight distribution. Well, you know now you can see. Okay, this is how it, my car would compare to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a uh, stock uh, vehicle. So uh, that's how you can use these various fields to you know play with suspensions and see what the results produce. Um, I've obviously included a uh, a lot of uh, uh, aftermarket options here. And you know, if I had the part numbers handy, then I put them here as well. And then uh, the same, you know, goes for the other chassis. So if you have an F31 or 32, 4 Series Grand Coupe, F36 or F34, um, it's pretty much all the same story. So uh, you know, I hope you guys uh, have a good time playing around with this calculator. Uh, taking a look at your ride frequencies. If you're curious to learn more about this suspension stuff, and you know, it's not quite obvious how this is all related. Um, go look up Fat Cat Motorsports YouTube channel, which is called Suspension Truth. Um, there is a ton of information on there. Some of it, you know, you're gonna open it and be like, "Really? I'm I'm watching a lecture." But if this is something that interests you, it is well worth your time. So uh, that's it. And uh, you know, if you have you know more questions or you're thinking about going to a custom tuned damper or custom suspension I highly recommend uh, clicking the link and going to Fat Cat Motorsports website uh, Shake the owner is a wealth of knowledge um, when it comes to suspension and is a super helpful guy so that's it take care have fun